Ethan, I was terrible back then. I'm really sorry. Thanks, Jake. But today is about showing the kids that being different is the best thing you can be. Ethan Cole stood in the parking lot of Lincoln High School in Houston, Texas, trying to calm his nerves. He was 29 years old now, and he had presented technical briefings to NASA administrators, spoken at international aerospace conferences, and trained astronauts on equipment he had designed. But walking back into this building made him feel like he was 15 again, awkward and alone. Ethan had been homeschooled until ninth grade, when his parents decided he should experience traditional high school for socialization. It had been a disaster. He did not understand the unspoken social rules, he talked too much about space and rockets, he wore clothes his mom picked out that were hopelessly uncool, and he ate lunch alone every single day reading books about orbital mechanics. The popular kids had called him the weird homeschool kid and made fun of everything about him. Jake Morrison and his friends had been the worst, posting videos of Ethan talking enthusiastically about science projects with mocking captions like Virgin Alert and Future Basement Dweller. Ethan had begged his parents to let him finish high school online, and they finally agreed after his junior year. He had sworn he would never go back to Lincoln High School. But today the school had invited him as an alumnus to speak to the science club about his career at NASA, and his mother had asked him to please accept, to show those kids that being different was not something to be ashamed of. Inside, the auditorium was packed with students. Ethan took a deep breath and began his presentation, showing photos of the Mars rover he had helped design, explaining how the propulsion systems worked, describing what it felt like the day the rover successfully landed and sent back its first images. The students were actually paying attention, asking smart questions, and several girls in the front row kept whispering excitedly to each other. After the formal presentation ended, students crowded around to ask more questions and take photos. One freshman boy with thick glasses and a NASA shirt waited until everyone else left, then asked quietly if Ethan had really gone to Lincoln. Ethan said yes. The boy said that everyone made fun of him for being into science, and he wanted to know if it got better. Ethan crouched down to the boy's level and said that high school was temporary but being curious and passionate about learning lasts forever, and the people who made fun of him now would be working for people like him later. As Ethan was leaving, a man approached him in the parking lot. It was Jake Morrison, looking uncomfortable and apologetic. Jake said he was a substitute teacher at Lincoln now, that he had seen Ethan's presentation, and that he wanted to apologize for how cruel he had been. He said watching Ethan talk about his work at NASA made him realize how much potential he had tried to crush. Ethan looked at him for a moment and said thank you, but the apology did not change the past. What mattered was that some kid in that auditorium now knew that being weird and passionate about science was actually the coolest thing you could be. Some revenge is not about making bullies feel bad. It is about becoming living proof that their definition of success was always wrong.